Welcome back to the chaos. So we got some good news and some bad news. So we'll get into the bad news later. So we're gonna we're actually on the way to pick my car up. So we just I know we just installed the um, front lip, the spoiler on the 350Z not that long ago. But we're actually on the way. Got a little change up coming. So I don't want to ruin the surprise yet. So stay tuned. It's, of course, summertime in North Carolina, so that wonderful summertime weather where it's bright and sunshiny out, but pouring down rain. So we'll see how much I can actually film when we get here, but still excited. Not gonna let that hamper anything. Spot the difference, we're pulling up to Auto Arts. So, a few changes to the car. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh boy. Sick. I didn't get into too much filming at the shop just because it started raining and honestly I was so excited to see the car so this is the changes that we've got so I think it is dramatic from where we last saw it so as, as happy as I was with the front lip that we put on there I think this looks sick and now it makes me realize I need wheels even more so we'll kind of break down we'll kind of break down exactly you know what new pieces are on the car but just a quick overview we got brand new bumper, front bumper, uh, new headlights, and a spoiler. Kind of a quick look. But I think the smoked headlights really set off the car. And especially with like the, the black in the grill. Because you can see the inserts this black insert as well as the, the corner inserts over here have been blacked and then come around to the back of the car we got little like duckbill style spoiler nothing too crazy but it does have a little lip to it I think it flows with the lines of the Z perfect so I'm beyond thrilled so Auto Arts is the one that did the work so they they nailed it they knocked it out of the park so I couldn't be happier with this um, <laughs> still just initial reactions are just like it's crazy this doesn't even look like the same car especially the front bumper that's what gets me the most it just completely changes the look I was concerned that with the more aggressive front bumper that I didn't know how it was going to look without the full kit. So without the side skirts and without the rear bumper, I thought it was going to kind of stand out like a sore thumb. But it really, it blends better than I thought. The side splitters, the Dev Sport side splitters, really help out with the lines. So if you look at the edge of the car, and I either need spacers or wheels or something, but if you look at the edge of this bumper, the corner here, and then where the side splitter is, pretty dang close see I'm just I'm blown away at how awesome it looks so this is gonna be a little little trickier to see but I did get a custom bash bar made yeah it's really hard to see because it's black so just blending in but it's got a custom drift style bash bar on there so that's pretty sick but you need one in order to fit this this new bumper And I've seen some guys run with or without the emblem, but I think the emblem sets it off. 
Plus it's got the recess for it. So why wouldn't you? Once we finally get the car home, then like I said, we got the good news. This is the great news. <laughs> Couldn't be happier about this. But then we'll kind of dive into the bad news as, as well. So we got the car home and everything. And I just wanted to kind of touch base and let you all know exactly what changes were made and why they were made. So I mentioned earlier that there was some good news and some bad news. So the good news was the end result, the bumper we got, the headlights and the spoiler, but it came from a bit of bad news. So I was actually driving along. I just left work and I was on the way home and a kid, 16 year old kid, he said he had his license maybe three months, pulled out in front of me. So smashed the front end of my car. So this kid, he was trying to cross basically two lanes of traffic to go the opposite way of me. So there was a there was a truck in his way, so he couldn't see, and I couldn't see him pulling out from the side road until it was too late. So once he got past the truck, obviously I saw him at that point, and it was one of those little Kia Ratmobiles, the little boxes. And so he pulled out in front of me. I mean, I got hard on the brakes. I wasn't going, the speed limit there, I think it's about 35. So I wasn't going no more than 40. And so I was hard on the brakes. I mean, I didn't tag him. I probably tagged him at 25, 30 miles an hour. It was enough to ruin my front bumper. So from that point, I mean, I was, I was livid. And I mean, I talked to the kid and like, you know, life lesson for him, you know, cause he said, oh, well this, this guy was waving me out. And I'm like, but if you can't see, you don't pull out because obviously that man, uh, whoever waved him out is sitting on his couch kicking it and you're having to pay the, the price for it. It just, it sucked. So I was pissed at first and especially cause we had just put the, the front lip on there. So we got the car kind of looking, looking stellar. And I'd gone, I'd taken it to the first body shop and I explained, you know, this is what I want. I was hoping to get some upgrades. And so I was explaining my, you know, what I would like to get out of it. I would like, you know, because the headlights were a little bit messed up. They were just like scuffed up, but you need a new set. So I was hoping to get, yeah, a set of headlights. So I wanted some aftermarket. Um, so we actually went with like the Depot style headlights. It's that black housing. So I was able to get those but they won't do any aftermarket anything. So <laughs> I wasn't really happy about that. I mean, like I know they do great work. One of my buddies works there, so he's a great painter and I really wanted him to do the, do the painting, but they won't do anything aftermarket. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I at least want it, I at least want to get back to the way it was. So, you know, stock front bumper with the lip. So I was like, I, at minimum, that is what my requirement is. And they were like, nope, we won't do it. We won't. Um, and I, I guess I get it for, because they, they warranty their work for life. So they won't warrant aftermarket parts. So I kind of understand, but that was, that didn't make me happy. Cause I want, I at least wanted to get the car back to the, the state that it was before I got hit. Leave there and I was kind of upset. Cause I'm like, you know, again, it's not my fault that <laughs> this kid pulled out in front of me. So I don't want my car to be stocked. That's not, and I mean, we just put that lip on there. And I know I keep saying that, but it's just, we just did that and it looked so good and I was really happy with it. I started doing some, some looking around and everything and I find the shop Auto Arts. So they're actually cool enough. The guy there, Mike, he's, he's a great guy to work with. And he was like, man, we'll hook you up. Like, you know, let the insurance adjuster come out. They'll give you a quote, you know, give you, see how much they allot you, give the amount, and then we'll play with it from there. So they did, they came out, you know, the adjuster comes and they give you this allotment to fix the car. So we get the money and he's like, all right, you were allotted this, this, and this for, you know, replacement parts. I'm like, okay, cool. Cause what I want, I wanted, so we ended up going with the VIS. Um, it's the AMS GT front bumper. So I really wanted that. Cause I'm like, if, you know, if it's not gonna be the way it was stock and pristine, then at this point I want to make it a little make it a little different and that's something I don't know if I'd ever really do it myself because I, I just didn't want to get into the body work of it so we get the VIS front bumper and Mike said he had to work it because it didn't fit that great so if you're doing it at home 
I don't know if I'd recommend it, but leave it to the professionals. So he got it looking nice and like all the um, panel gaps and everything look good. So I was able to get the VIS AMS GT front bumper. Um, I got the Depot black housing headlights and then uh, threw in the, it's a Evo R blitz style rear spoiler. So I was able to get that thrown in as well. So I was able to get all those upgrades on insurance on the insurance's dime. So that, so at least makes me feel better. I'm like, okay, cool. Those were things that I wanted to do anyway. So now it just came out of the insurance pocket, not my pocket. So like I said, it was a little little bad news and I was frustrated as can be just because I was I was happy with where the car was. But you know make the best out of a bad situation. So now we're in a better spot. We got a few upgrades and I can't I can't be happier. Of course at this point like seeing the car makes me realize like now man i really want a hood maybe and some wheels like that'll really set it off but all that's all that's down the road but yeah just bad situation but we make the best of it because that's what you have to do because again life is life is crazy it's full of chaos you got to make the best of it but i really appreciate you watching if you please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel thank you so much have a good one